DNA tests are garbage. I was looking at this very funny video about the British when I read this. I like that you guys accurately portrayed John Smith, even to him coughing up smallpox for the local population. So I said, smallpox is exceedingly overrated. The Spanish allied with many Native Americans to beat the Aztecs, and those allies were perfectly healthy, fighting alongside the Spanish. So smallpox isn't why the United States is devoid of Native Americans for the most part. It's because the British and the Germans who joined them genocided them, as the U.S. already admitted. But most Spanish speakers are brown by birth because they're not European at all. Yes, this is not an actual Mexican, this is a cartoon, but this is based on the truth. Generally, they do look like Dora the Explorer. Dora! Dora! Let me see, where was I? Countries like Mexico lie to the people, claiming that most are mixed, but that's just a desperate attempt at finding some common thing to base unity on. If the Mayans in Yucatan see themselves more as Mayans than Mexicans, then their desire for independence would be greater. Also, many Hispanics don't identify as Native American because they forgot their roots due to globalization, stigma, or whatever. In Tenochtitlan, most deaths were from starvation due to the siege, not smallpox. So someone told me, and I didn't get the memo because YouTube doesn't notify me sometimes because YouTube is a stupid website run by people who are inept and not good. He said, Mexicans are mixed. Technically, they're not even an ethnic group, rather the product of two distinct ethnic groups like Logic or Michael Jackson. Okay, maybe not MJ, but you get the point. That's why there's different shades of Mexican. Some have more native blood than others, but overall, most Mexicans look 50-50 Spanish native. Know the app they don't. There's a small percentage of people who can trace their roots back to Spain, but other than that, most people in Mexico look like natives. The other dude is right. It's just that they've just lost their roots or are just ashamed of their roots since people still shit on them. They're mestizos. Each Mexican is between 30% to 70% native as a rule, with minor exceptions. More native in the south. Less native among self-claimed whites, except recent white migrants. Check out some research with admixture analysis. Modern genetic analysis can easily differ. CBG European and native admixtures. Empirically, almost all Mexicans except recent migrants is a mixture between Europeans and natives. But the proportion varies a lot. See, for instance, the genetics of Mexico recapitulation of the Simple question. Do you have all specimens of any race entirely mapped out? If not, you cannot make any claim as to anyone's trait being necessarily of any race in particular. DNA testing is overrated and involves subjectivity, not merely objectivity. Another question. Have you noticed that DNA testing companies have contradicting results? They're all scams. I originally laughed when I typed that. Type in DNA tests contradict into Google's search bar. Oh, and by the way, Google has a Masonic logo, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Personalized DNA tests give contradictory results. Contradictions, contradictions. How many results? 24,100,000 results concerning DNA tests. Contradicting, of course, they're not all saying the same thing, but a lot of them are showing or talking about the fact that you can't rely on DNA testing companies because they care about money, not the truth, which is why they contradict each other, meaning they can't all be saying the truth. Now, can they? Most Hondurans and Honduras is mini Mexico are Native American, which you can tell just by looking at them. You don't need DNA studies to tell you that because DNA will be reflected in appearance. And so DNA studies are redundant. The DNA test isn't necessary. Not to mention, as I already said, DNA testing companies have contradicting results, so they're all scams based on subjective interpretations of DNA without even having all specimens of a race examined 
to be able to tell the objective frequency of traits per race, thereby rendering conclusions unwarranted jumps. For example, if they say that big crooked noses prove a Jewish ancestry or genes that make for these noses, or a combination of such genes, if they say that big crooked noses prove a Jewish ancestry, they assume no other race can have that feature, and then conclude you are part Jewish. No one should blindly trust experts. The best scientists in the 1940s were Nazis. Doctors used to recommend smoking in the days of black and white television. Science says smoking is good for you. And you're a good atheist. You don't question the white coat prophets of materialism quasi-religion, do you? No, of course not. You're a free-thinking non-thinker. So you let them do the thinking for you and they say smoking is good for you. You idiot. Where am I? Here I am. That's why I put that blue thing. Mexicans are natives for the most part. The richer tend to be mixed with the colonial masters, but most people are poor. So most Mexicans are not Spanish one bit. A drop of Kool-Aid can turn the pool red. Westoids. Honey, I bought you this DNA test as a fun little Saturnalia gift. Balkans. I spend my life savings on this test just so I can kill myself if I'm from my neighboring country.